In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at four awesome Discord bots to help elevate your community and Discord game on your Discord server. So yeah, if you guys are interested, stay tuned. We're gonna be covering stuff, anything from like music to moderation to um, notifications and just keeping your community engaged. And um, yeah, there's some pretty neat bots out there that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So yeah, without further ado, let's run that intro and jump into it. Before we dive into today's content, let's go ahead and pause for a moment to consider the value of making smart decisions. Speaking of which, we're thrilled to once again partner with Mint Mobile, the pioneers in transforming the wireless industry. They're dedicated to providing premium wireless service without that hefty price tag we've all come to dread. Ever find yourself puzzled by the sky-high cost of your wireless bill? Well, if so, Mint Mobile is on a mission to demonstrate that there's a smarter way to do things. For a limited time, new customers can enjoy any three-month plan for just $15 a month. That's correct. You were hearing that correctly. 50% off their unlimited plan. Imagine accessing the nation's largest 5G network, enjoying unlimited talk and text, and all the benefits of a high-tier wireless experience at half the cost. The transition to Mint Mobile is a breeze thanks to their eSIM technology. Many of you can seamlessly switch over from the comfort of your home in as little as 15 minutes. And for those of you that prefer a physical SIM card, Mint Mobile's got you covered there with a free SIM sent directly to your doorstep. Let go of the old, overpriced, and convoluted ways of wireless. Head over to trymintmobile.com forward slash how to tech to snag this incredible offer and get premium wireless for just $15 a month. My wife and I jumped on the Mint Mobile bandwagon over a year ago, and we've been fans ever since. Who can resist the allure of significant savings? What's going on, guys? Chad here from HowTo Media, the channel dedicated to helping you take your live stream, YouTube channel, whatever community to the next level. And today we are messing with some Discord bots that I think are just absolutely awesome. So let's go ahead and jump over here to the computer and take a look at the first one, which is Fredboat. Fredboat is really neat because it allows you to play high quality music in your Discord server for free. And there's a bunch of different options. And I will go ahead and say this. Some of the options that we see in some of the bots that we're going to look in today, um, are also available in other bots or in maybe even the exact same bots that we're looking at today. So there's going to be some overlap there. And some of them do have premium and some of them do have freemium and pro and whatever kind of options you want to say there. So I'm going to try to cover the best I can. But if you guys want in-depth videos on all of these different bots, let me know. And I can actually say cut one out and say, hey, let's go ahead and make a dedicated video on all the features inside of this one. I don't want it to be too confusing for you guys, but I also don't want to spend 15 minutes on each one and make this like an hour long video. So without further ado, let's take a look at Fredboat now. Um, but yeah, Fredboat is the ability to add high quality music into your Discord server for free. It's as simple as clicking invite. And then, um, yeah, we've just got some places that we're going to pull music from and all that crap. Um, just some really good stuff. And then we can set up cues. So if you wanted to queue um, a bunch of music and then you could actually adjust that queue around on this end if you wanted to for your server, um, you can set up playlist and you can even search and add music directly in from here. And uh, yeah, it's got a really nice web UI if you wanted to uh, utilize it that way. And for everybody on your server, um, well, you can set up permissions however you want to for people to be able to do forward slash play and play music. Um, we can pause music. We can do play you know, forward slash play and then the name of a band or the name of a song. And then we can select that just by using these little buttons here. And it works out really, really well. And there's, you know, music commands, non music commands and a bunch of other stuff that um, you can utilize inside of your discord server. Next, we're going to take a look at Sapphire. Sapphire is a really, really nice discord bot and it's multi-purpose, fully customizable and completely free. That is very uncommon, <laughs> hearing that word or all those words together and then the word free at the end of it. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what this has to offer. It's used in a bunch of really big servers. If you could tell here, um, I did not know LimeWire was still a server. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting Discord server. But we see OpenAI, Valorant, and uh, RuneScape, and Splitgate. I'm seeing like a lot of games and stuff in here. So it's used in a lot of big servers, which is pretty neat. And uh, let's talk about some of those features that it offers. So it offers um, the ability for users to assign themselves roles, which is a really neat option to have. Um, you can create beautiful info messages for people whenever 
Um, they join or they're wanting to find different information on your server. We can send messages based on keywords. This is one that I find to be really, really neat. So this one says something like, here, let me uh, zoom. Well, zoom it into about that far. But it says something like, you know, when is the next stream? And it automatically pulls that keyword of stream and it sends a message and it says the next scheduled live stream is on blah, blah, blah date at whatever time. That is really neat, especially if you, you know, have a regular upload schedule as a YouTuber or a regular live stream schedule as a streamer. Um, having that built in there into the chat to automatically reply and not make you have to look like your Discord's inactive from you not doing it is kind of convenient. Or if you got other people that just don't know, well, it keeps that person from feeling like they're not being addressed with their question. Um, we have advanced moderation built in. The one thing that I will say is my biggest fault with how to media is we grew a very big and giant discord server and the bot situation and scam situation on discord basically made me kill our discord server because the moderation tools at the time just weren't that great to stop people from spamming links and spamming just a bunch of junk in the discord. So Unfortunately, that's why my Discord server is not as active as it should be. But with something like this, yes, you can easily manage cases. We can define reason aliases for things, and we can customize um, DM notifications. And some of the moderation stuff that you can do in here, um, we can set up filters. And yeah, the auto mod here is there's like 10 plus modules for words, spams, mentions. We can base the punish or whatever, whatever, however we're punishing them based off of the conditions of what had happened and then add additional actions for Discord's auto mod um, that's kind of built in as well. So it's kind of neat to see that. And um, th then we'll get into this social media notifications. This is going to have some overlap with some stuff that we're going to look at in a second. But um, being able to notify whenever Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok, uh, you know, for uploads and stuff like that's pretty nice. And live updating, stream messaging, um, whenever you go live for streaming and fully just customizable messages for how those look and changing the way they look and making sure they just look nice for your stream. And then um, really good logging, which is always nice, especially if you have multiple moderators, you can kind of go in there and adjust what they will see in those logging sections. And then, um, yeah, they also have the ability to just click the button and go ahead and set it up. There you go. That is Sapphire. Sapphire is really neat, very flexible, and a lot of customization options for you there. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at StreamCord. This is the one that I've known for a long time that's really good for people that like the live stream, going ahead and sending out notifications for whenever, well, they start live streaming. Adding it is as simple as clicking add to Discord. And then we have some options of seeing what it looks like and basically never miss out on another stream. We have highly customization, so we can choose a custom message, embed color, thumbnail, cooldown, and more, filtered by game and title. Um, we can send notifications based on the game being played or keyword in the stream's title if we wanted to. And we can automatically push, uh, publish messages to a news channel. So if you got a news channel set up in Discord that publishes out to another Discord server, well, you can set that up and it will auto do that as well. And we can even set this up to not just be for you as a creator, but also promote other creators in your server by role. So if you wanted to set up a role, for people on your server to now have the now live role or the have the role of being a streamer and it go ahead and toggle them and show them as now live whenever they start streaming. Well, you can set that up and that's pretty neat as well. And we can even recognize Twitch affiliates and partners in your server with an exclusive link. Where I did not know that. That's actually pretty neat. So um, that, that would be something that we're probably going to add to our Discord server here very soon. I did not know add the affiliate section. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then we can take our community to the next level. Love that. Love that language there. Um, but yeah, we can sync your schedule stream or your stream schedule, um, upgrade the stream notifications, more live role features and enterprise grade accessories and all that stuff. This one is a little bit more watered down in the sense of what you get out of this. But this is just a perfect, well-rounded tool specifically for people that stream on, you know, Twitch and having that integration directly in to Discord. So the last one we're going to be taking a look at today, I do not know how to say this. Is it do t -mo notify dot notify? I'm going to go with dot notify. Um, but this is a really neat one. Actually, a friend of mine that live streams um, is how I came across this. I did not know this one was a thing. Um, and it's basically set up for the ability for you to schedule messages every day. So if you wanted to like, say, have a message that went up to your um, community every single day or, you know, like 
do something on repeat, you can do that. Um, or you can go ahead and set up something that you just want to schedule to come out next week or for the holidays. You can do that with here. So this is um, the ultimate announcement in reminder bot for Discord. It says, get ready to generate more engagement, clicks, and attention for your Discord community with a Discord bot built for messaging, reminders, and announcements. And I really like that. Uh, one thing that I'm not a fan of in Discord is the like little event section up in the top left-hand corner of the Discord servers. I feel like that's kind of lacking and not as interesting. I like the way that this works because this sends out the notification. It's really engaging and interesting, and the way you can customize these I think looks a lot better. And um, yeah, they're just set up in a really neat way, and you can kind of get an idea of what they look like through here and seeing that, um, yeah, you can schedule those announcements. And once again, like everything else we've looked at today, it's as simple as just adding it to your Discord server and getting started with it. It is not difficult to use. This one does have some premium options if that's something you're interested in as well, but definitely go ahead and try out the free version of it, see what you can do, see what you like about it, and see if there's something you might want to change. Um, I will say with with most Discord bots, not every single Discord bot, but most Discord bots that offer a free version, one of the main things that they do make you pay for if you wanted this feature is the ability to customize the bot and the way it looks. So if you wanted to adjust the bot name and the image for it, um, you know, like the little user icon and say change it so it doesn't look like this purple um, dot notify icon, well, you can change that um, in a lot of these. And that's kind of what you're paying for in those use cases. And maybe some extra features. But based off the way this one works, this is another really neat one. Like I said, I get notifications from this like every day from one of my friends that um, – streams on Twitch. And um, it, it's kind of neat to see how that works. And you can set it up to work with multiple servers, all from one dashboard, create your own custom message sending bot. Um, so yeah, this is like actually for sending just direct messages and other things like that. Uh, this is once again, another really neat bot and tool to help you grow your community and uh, live stream um, or just YouTube channel, whatever you want to use this to grow notifications with or remind people about. Um, yeah, maybe you can remind people, hey, it's Wednesday, guys. we got a new video coming out because we release a video every Wednesday. Um, something like that. Maybe that'll work. But that's kind of what this is used for, and it's a pretty neat tool. So, all right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Those are some really neat, four really neat Discord bots. And if you guys want to see more in-depth videos of me actually setting up optimizing these, customizing these, utilizing these, all the izing of these bots, let me know in the comment section down below so I can go ahead and decide to uh, record a video on those. Like I said, they're very in-depth, some of them, the things that they can do. We might even be able to do like five videos off of some of just these bots or maybe turn them into YouTube shorts. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Discord content, go ahead and get subscribed and let me know as well. And um, if you want to see our regular streaming content, OBS content, um, just all the stuff for content creators here at How To Media, then go ahead and check that stuff out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Media, helping you take your media to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.